Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, man, this literally does not work. Let's get open for business here on this Friday morning, where we're just 202 days, 12 hours, 2 minutes, and 50 seconds away from kickoff of the 2018 season. And thank you for joining this morning's edition of Don't Sleep on the Dallas Cowboys, because you literally cannot sleep on the Dallas Cowboys. Things happen late in the evening, late at night, first thing in the morning, so you want to be up to speed with all that is America's team. Well, I'm told I talk about Dak Prescott a lot, and why mess up a good thing, I guess. Um, before I get to that, I'm thinking some of you guys are looking at that clock and watching it slowly tick down and see that it's still 202 days away. And I'm thinking maybe I should change the clock up and maybe start with the lead year, maybe change that countdown so that way we have countdown to free agency. Would you guys prefer to do that or keep it for the beginning of the season? You know, there's a lot of things we can do with the clock here. So I'm asking for your opinion on that and let me know what you guys think. Um, but Dak Prescott, is there any quarterback that's talked about more than Dak Prescott? I, I don't honestly believe that there is. I don't know that there's any player talked about as much as Dak Prescott. In fact, I think if Dak Prescott got a dollar for every time a story, every time on any show, every time a clip was played, if he got a dollar for each one of those, I don't think we'd have to worry about actually getting a contract for him because he has literally talked about that much in nauseam. Hell, I'd owe him a big fat chunk of change my damn because of all the times I talk about him, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. But one way or another, Dak Prescott is going to get paid. And some people out there are losing their freaking mind like it's literally coming out of their pocket. You hear... Adam Shine say something like, well, Dak Prescott should just play out his rookie contract and then cash in at the end of next year. And th that's great in theory, but you're basically making a million this year. And if you get injured, well, so much for getting that big fat contract. So it's putting all the risk on him. And he could do that. He could do similar to what Kirk Cousins did because after being franchise tagged that second time, he bet on himself to be able to be free to go where he wanted to go. And herein lies the problem, because some people will say the Cowboys should go the route of uh, letting him play next year and then franchise tagging him two years. That way you don't have to pay him anything. Well, you could do that. And currently, that franchise tag, which will probably go up some, will be around $23, $24 million for that first year. The second year, currently, if the cap keeps going up, it'll be somewhere around 33, 34 million. So you're looking at then for two seasons paying him 60 plus million dollars. So you're talking about paying him 30 million a year there. Guaranteed money. This is what the Redskins did that was terrible or stupid. Because they franchise tagged Kirk Cousins, two years in a row, they paid him $45 million. Had they went ahead and signed him to a long-term deal for probably not much more than that $45 million, they could have made that the guaranteed money in a contract for five years. And instead of him basically saying, F you Redskins, I'm out, may have wanted to stay. And they wouldn't be in the quarterback situation that they are right now where they turned around and had to pay Alex Smith 70, but 74 million, 71 million guaranteed. So you can look at the Washington Redskins, and right now they have $110 million over the last, well, it'll be five years for Kirk Cousins and Alex Smith, a guy who may not play again. Let me say that one more time again so you understand. The Redskins have guaranteed money tied up for quarterback of 110 
right? No, 116. 71 and 4. Uh, 116. 116 million dollars over six years. They will have paid for quarterbacks for Kirk Cousins and Alex Smith, who's not going to play next year and may never play again. So that's the danger part that you play right there with doing that. And let's say you're Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott, who, from all accounts, is a great guy on and off the field who cares about the team more than anything else. If you're Dak Prescott and you were a fourth-round draft pick, everybody figured I would never amount to anything. I was anywhere and things like that. But I have come through and proven to be one of the top three quarterbacks in the 2016 to be um, rookie of the year, to start 30, uh, you know, excuse me, start three years straight, to have 33 wins in three seasons, to be in the playoffs twice. And the Cowboys turn around and say, you know what, we want you to pay that, that year on that money. So you're only paying me three point some million dollars for four years. And then you turn around and say, well, here's $20 million as a franchise tag. And if you get hurt, well, we can just walk away from you. That ends up definitely screwing up any relationship in there, and you get the Kirk Cousins feel. And here's the other part of that, too. Because after that year that you're talking about franchise tagging them, the collective bargaining agreement goes out. And it's going to be a renegotiation between the Players Association and the NFL. And the NFL and Players Association aren't agreeing on a whole lot. And you don't know how the rules will change. It could be the Players Association turns around and says, you know, we don't like this being franchise tagged twice. It ends up putting all the risk on the player and things. And we're going to change the rules so you can only be franchise tagged once. So hypothetically speaking, it could be you franchise tag him one time. The collecting bargaining agreement changes, and then all of a sudden Dak Prescott's a free agent, and you've got nothing coming in return, and you're at the whim of the new rules. That's a hell of a risk. And mind you, I know a lot of you out there think that Dak Prescott is garbage, but when you look around the NFL, there's not a lot of decent quarterbacks to go around. There's not even a lot of average quarterbacks to go around. The other thing you have to look at, too, and this is what I said here, that last year the Dallas Cowboys would have been better off signing Demarcus Lawrence to a long-term deal before Aaron Donald signed his, before Khalil Mack signed his, because the market value goes up. Because you're paying that contract today in today's dollars. You wait, you're paying them in tomorrow's dollars, and guess what? The cost goes up. So right now, before Russell Wilson gets added into the kitty, before Carson Wentz and Nick uh, Carson Wentz and uh, Jared Goff get their deals done, if you end up waiting till after those deals get done, you, you think those deals are going to be in the twenties? Do you? Do you really believe that Russell Wilson is going to be paid like twenty-four million? Do you think Jared Goff? And Carson Wentz are going to be like 22, 23 million? No. All those deals are going to be in the 30s. And if Dak Prescott, hypothetically, makes it through 16 games, leads the team into the playoffs again, guess what? That number's going to be through the roof. And as some people are looking at, could be, the longer you wait, towards the $200 million mark. So you're better off doing, say, a $100, $125 million deal now as opposed to a $200 million one later on. I'll put it out there, but it's, it's not up to me to make these decisions. I'm just trying to put out there all the scenarios so that way you can see all of the equations and what go into it. A lot of times people will look at it and say, well, you know, a quarterback is not worth $20 million. Well, I got to tell you, the reality is $20 million for a quarterback is chump change now. And it's going to continue to go up. We're going to be looking at $30 million in a few years and say it's chump change for a quarterback because the market value will continue to go.
up. There's not quarterbacks out there, and there's very little opportunity to get one. So when you get one, they're going to get paid. So as always, friends, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. I'll see you guys soon.